Hi everyone, welcome to Carousels. Today we have, um, well, we're putting on our tyres on our rims. So, what we got is inner tubes, and these are the ones I'll be using. You don't have to use those. I've never had a problem with them. Never had a puncture. He's going to say that, and now I'm going to get a thousand. Never ever. Um, I'm going to be using these valve extenders, 20 mil. I bought them from um, Wiggle, I think. Um, we're going to be using our high pressure rim tape, 28 mil Grand Prix 4000 S2s, and of course our Yolio wheels. So we're going to have to extend the valves of our um, inner tubes with the valve extenders. We'll just take off this. Um, what I'll do is I'll just show you how far that doesn't poke through. So we'll get the wheel, that's how far it comes out. Okay, so not enough to pump it up. These are 60 mil in length. So what we're going to do is just uh, pour out our stuff and let's go. So we'll undo the valve. I might need a tool, now I can do it with my hand. Take out the valve, get the extender, put it in, screw it in, and there's a tool here which it comes supplied with. Crank that round till it sits flush, and you can't turn it anymore. There's a stop, yeah, I can't turn that anymore. Out the way, put the valve back in. Till I can't turn it anymore, he says. Uh, I think that's good. There's a little um, uh, bit that you put over, and we can crank those up till it's tight. Not over tight, but tight enough. That's perfect. Now we can see how far that's going to go in. So we'll bring in our bit, and there we go. So it goes through that far. Okay. I don't know if any shorter would have been uh, better, but that's how far it goes in. So we've got a inner tube prepped. I'll just do the other one, and we'll be back. Okay, now we're back, we've uh, extended those two. One thing I have noticed, I've never extended um, any of these before, is now I can't use the nut. Yeah, it's not gonna fit. So to stop it rattling, we'll probably just wrap some tape around there, because those will rattle in the uh, wheels, yeah? Right, let's get on to the next bit. Okay, so the next bit we're gonna do is put the um, rim strip into the wheel. So, bring in this wheel. Yep, that looks good. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, as you can see, the rim strip has a hole in it. Okay, just there. So I'm going to line that up with the hole, with the valve hole in the wheel. Then, I'm going to put through my in the tube, like so. Here's the hole. Line that up. Put that through. And the reason I'm putting it through is so that I don't lose the valve hole place. Yeah. When I'm trying to uh, get this round. Already I've got it crossed so it's going to be a little bit difficult. Let's just get that back. There we go. Now it's all the same side. That should be much easier. So, stand that up. Get that inner tube out of the way. Feed the rim strip in. Okay, now we've got to the point where it's extra tight. So I can get rid of that. 
So this is tight just like an inner tube is, yeah? So what we can do is feed it in. This is dead tight. And this is why we need the handy butter knife. So we keep it up like this. And I'm just gonna feed it in like this. Feed it in, feed it in. Here it comes. And it's there, okay? So, and that's how I would do it. Oh, we've got a cross over there. I might have to take it out and re reset it. No, that bit just uh, sorted itself out. Yep, that's over the valve hole. Perfect. So we just check it's uh, in line. All the way around, check it's in line, check it's in line. Check that still goes in, it does. Butter knife can come out. Then we're ready for the next section. Tires on and um, inner tubes in, perfect. Okay, the tires I'm going to be using today are these um, Grand Prix 4000 S2s. It's the first time I've ever used 28mm tires. Um, I started on 25s, went down to 23s, went back up to 25s. Now I'm on 28s for the first time ever. So um, these are folding tires, as you can see. Let's just unfold them. Get them all unpacked. Yeah. Bending around the right way. Okay, now. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Right, now, these should have, I'm looking for the rotation arrow on the tire. I remember on the um, Continental four seasons, they've got a rotation arrow. I'm um, looking, there it is, rotation arrow. Rotation, see? So you've got to have it rotating round the right way. Yeah, so let's put the rotation arrow that way. Okay, now, if we bring in the front wheel, And the rear wheel. So the cassette goes on this side, as you know. The disc goes on this side, so the wheel must spin round this way because we're going forwards. Yeah? It spins around that way. So the rotation arrow needs to spin with the wheel. So at the moment, it's pointing the wrong way. Okay? So we either flip the wheel round or we turn the tire round. For this one, I'm going to flip the wheel round because that makes it easier for me. Next, I'm going to locate the valve hole. Keeping the same side, I always put the name of the tire or the brand by the valve. So then I know that if I need to locate, uh, if I've got a hole, and it's somewhere around the valve, I know that it is somewhere near the name. So I'm just going to feed this tire around. Okay, coming up to the top, I just roll that over using my hand. Roll, roll it in, roll it in, and it's in. So, one tire half in. Yes, there it is. Okay, for the inner tube section, I'm going to use a bowl some baby powder and this inner tube. First thing I'm going to do is blow into the inner tube to inflate it slightly. Pulling back on the valve, close it. And there we can see our inner tube has some shape. Yeah? And then what I'm going to do, and then the bowl is just to catch this uh, 
I'm going to use baby powder. Take my rings off because I don't want to scratch anything. So, baby powder. And what I'm going to do is coat the inner tube with the powder, yeah? We bring in our tyre. Um, so, here we go. Here's our wheel and tyre ready to be done. What I'm going to do is peel back the tyre this way, exposing the valve hole. So you can see where it is. Then I'm going to reverse the tyre over so we can see what we're doing. Put the inner tube in. And then I'm just going to feed it into, roughly, into the tyre like this. Okay? Right. Now I'm going to push it, start pushing it into the rim. Okay, so it sits there. Right. Now, I'm going to start closing off that, starting at the valve. Yeah, pulling it back, seating the, seating everything. There we go, up. Right, and until you, until you get to the last bit, which is normally the hardest, as you know. Yeah, just use a bit of strength. Keep pushing it over, keep pushing it over. This bit sometimes, what you might need to do is gather it up from the bottom. There we go, it goes straight away. Now, the reason I put talc in there is, um, and blew it up a little bit, is so that we don't get any pinches, um, hopefully, when I inflate that. So it should be seated. Yeah, we'll just give it a squash. That rattling might, might annoy us. We'll have to see how it goes. Okay, so what I have actually done is taken that back out and put some um, uh, insulation tape around there. I probably did about three or four wraps and then I pushed it back through the valve hole. It is tight, but now there's no rattling whatsoever. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just inflate the tire now. Now I've got a track pump here. There's a hundred. That's disconnected. We'll turn that down. No rattles at all. So we're at a hundred. And that's what it looks like. Yeah, my C60 is wrapped in. Let's just put that down. Get my tools out of the way. So there, that looks sweeter. Can't wait to uh, get those on the road. Of course, we'll have to weigh it now because we always weigh everything. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we got rid of the makeshift camera mount. We're just gonna put this. Uh, yeah, we'll just zero that. It's zero. Right, front wheel weighs. Don't know if you can see that. One, two, two, five. It's probably heavier than most bikes. I don't mind. I'm not, you know, I'm just not after. Um, so rear wheel weighs. One, three, two, three. So that is two and a half. Yeah, one, two, and one, three. Two and a half kilos. For two wheels, but they're good wheels and I like them. So that's the end of the video. <laughs> I'm a bit dirty, but um, yeah, cool. Like, subscribe for more videos. I'll see you on the next Cairo's house. Thanks for watching. Bye.